Hey guys, it's MC Fix It here. We're gonna be working on this Samsung refrigerator. Light has turned red, which means you need a new filter in for this model RS216MDRS Samsung. So here are the tools and the supplies that you're gonna need. Uh, I ended up going with the Water Specialist brand for this. I will have a link in the description as well. If it's a number of the Samsung refrigerators, make sure you get the right one and the flow rate is right and all of the different things, um, the correct PSI, just so you have it and it makes sure it works right. Um, you also wanna make sure it looks like it has this up and down arrow on it because you will be removing it and then putting the new one back in. Sometimes these do get stuck. And so uh, if you have an adjustable wrench, these work really well for uh, getting on here and being able to turn. If you have an original Samsung one in there, um, this little piece is a lot smaller. So um, I think it's a little harder to grasp than these ones. These ones are a little thicker, a little easier to turn. I also would encourage you to have a couple of kitchen towels nearby, because uh, when you do pull this out, you will get some water. You can put the cap on the old one, which should help prevent some of the spillage. But if you just set this down on the ground, the old one, it will spill out all over the place. Um, so those are the tools and the supplies that you need. Let's go ahead and jump into this project and uh, go ahead and fix it for you. So we're gonna be working on putting the filter in in this bottom right corner of the fridge. And uh, one thing I like to do is go ahead and make sure the water is turned off. I know some people may not want to do that. You probably could get away with it, but I am not gonna test it. This is my house. I don't wanna ruin my floor as well. So we're gonna go ahead and pull on both sides of the the fridge and these things are not light but once you get them moving they they work pretty well and you want to make sure you have enough room to get back there so we're going to this on off valve right here and just simply twist it and uh, it will go ahead and turn the water off for you can see that the Light has turned red, which means you need a new one. It says every six months or 300 gallons. I don't know what 300 gallons of water looks like because I just fill up a cup every day or so. So go ahead and dispense out the water. And it's crazy. It's like there's not much in there, which is good. Um, but we will need this again in the future as uh, after we put it in. I'm gonna scoot this back just a little bit to give you guys a little better camera angle. You can probably leave it out on your fridge. So right here is your filter and you'll see that there is an unlock. You're gonna turn it that way and a lock to turn it that way. Sometimes these things turn really easily and sometimes they don't. And so that one popped out pretty easy. That is an original Samsung one. Um, but some of the aftermarket ones, even though they try their best to get really close and accurate <clears throat> on all of it, uh, it does become a little harder. I want to encourage you to have an adjustable wrench handy because you can actually take this and adjust it down and spin it how it needs to. And so you're going to go ahead and try to kind of find the same position and you'll see that it has an, an area where it will like kind of go in and then you're going to go ahead and turn it up to that lock position. It also might be handy to have a towel in case it did spill out a little bit um, and make sure you hold it up that way. And your door will ding if you have it open too long. So go ahead and turn your water back on. It should be this direction and it was that direction before. Okay, the next thing I like to do is go ahead and make sure I reset the filter. You're gonna hold the water button down and it should turn blue just like that. Go ahead and get and it will have some air in the lines. Go ahead and get at least two gallons worth of water. Sometimes I like to turn it off and turn it back on. And I'd make sure you get at least two gallons worth of water as you're doing this to make sure it is filtering properly and it has the ability to make your water nice and good tasting again we have very hard water here so we have a softener and i like to have a filter on the water i drink a lot and the ice that i drink so and you may see some discoloration in here during these first two gallons that's pretty normal so don't worry about that too much 
um, just go ahead and make sure you get at least two gallons. And if you don't use your fridge, like you go on vacation, another good thing to do is go ahead and get a couple gallons out of it uh, when you arrive back, because sometimes those carbon filters uh, sit for a while and they kind of don't work as well when you come back from vacation. So don't feel bad if you gotta use a couple gallons, go water some plants or something with it. So you're gonna do this twice. And once you've got two full times, you've done it. I'm gonna have to dump it because this picture is pretty big. So once you've done that twice, you are all set, ready to go ahead and start drinking water. Your ice machine should work properly again. Um, I do like this filter, it works really well. Um, it is kind of a, an off brand from the Samsung but overall works really well. Thank you guys so much for watching. If this was helpful, please like, subscribe, comment if you do have any questions as well. Thank you guys so much for watching.